Now our associate and coordinator Khandukar Mushfiq Ahmed will say a few words about our guest of honor, Honorable Former Justice AFM Abdul Rahman. Great pleasure to be able to say a few words about our guest of honor, Mr. AFM Abdul Rahman, Honorable Former Justice of the High Court Division of the Supreme Court of Bangladesh. Mr. Rahman obtained his degree in law from Central Law College, Dhaka, and LB from University of London, following which he became a barrister and was called to the bar in 2001 from the Honorable Society of the Later, he also obtained his LLM from the University of Dublin, California. He commenced practice in 1979. His field of practice was civil, admiralty, company matter, rate, banking, commercial matters, international trade, arbitration, and so on. He was enrolled as an advocate in the Apple Division of Supreme Court of Bangladesh in 14 January 2000. He is a renowned civil lawyer of the country, having 25 years standing in practice when he was elevated and appointed as an additional judge of the High Court Division on 27th April 2003 and appointed as a permanent judge of the same division on April 27, 2005, thereafter retiring on 4th July 2018. During his term, he mostly sat on the tax and tax company and admiralty bench where he has given a number of landmark judgments. He is very popular amongst the junior lawyers because of his helpful and supportive nature and he continued immensely in building their career as a Supreme Court advocate. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together. I request It's my pleasure that I am here today, not as a judge, but as a lawyer in the maritime and admiralty law. The status of my judgeship has been ended on 4th July 2018. Prior to that, I had been in the admiralty bench for quite a long time, for about nine years. But before I uh, start anything to say, I must say that uh, before the uh, commencement of any dinner, a long speech will definitely bother you. So I'll be very brief. <laughs> I'll be very brief. Uh, my subject is uh, nothing but authority and the American law. And all, the, all, the, all, all of us are students of law, knowing very well what is the American law and the American law. But to say something, very briefly about the Bangladesh Admiralty, I will introduce Bangladesh Supreme Court, the High Court Division and its Admiralty Bench to you as a very easy coming adjudicated adjudicator in maritime law and Admiralty in Bangladesh. You see, our law, 2001, the Admiralty Court Act 2001, this has uh, made the inter procedure very simple and the time frame given by this law although there is no time frame but the inter perspective of the law has made the time frame to show and this court can assure that within six months one admiralty case can be disposed of if everything goes easy that means the lawyers they do not take time the witnesses comes in, 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 in proper time and all other things are properly dealt with by the judge, a case, admiralty case can be disposed of within six months. This is one of the very attractive things to the litigant public, foreign people, who are now very much interested to come to Bangladesh for their adjudication for the adjudication of the admiralty cause. 
You see, the admiralty cause is a is a international cause. The vessels which lie in the international water, it, 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 it may cause accident, it may do any anything which is prejudicial to other people. And to redress that cause, one can come to any jurisdiction dealing with admiralty matter, maritime law. Bangladesh is a is, is a one of the most significant country in the maritime law and being the, the Bangladesh law being very easy, the people are very much interested to come to Bangladesh for their adjudication of admiralty cause. These causes include the accident cause, the uh, use of the Siemens, and various other other causes which are defined in the law. A person who who requires a redress can come to Bangladesh and take the and and obtain the redress from the admiralty bench. It is functioning. Whenever I was there, it was functioning. When it, I, I am out of that, it is functioning. And anybody, I'll definitely I'll say that even today, the admiralty bench will be very helpful to all the litigant public internationally and from the domestic area. Before that, I, I, I have been, uh, have been informed that a admiralty Chamber was born in the year 2008, isn't it? And that chamber grows with the Mr. Farooq Rahman. In 2008 or 2009, when I was presiding in the bench, I found a very smart guy came to the court, a very young boy came to the court with an application for arrest. And I saw the man, he was very promising, appears to be very promising. And uh, I saw the application, it's okay, uh, very nice. So he, uh, he, he wanted an uh, arrest of a vessel, uh, but the vessel was arrested earlier by the court. So uh, I, uh, I, I, allowed the, I allowed the application and the vessel was arrested. And that young guy is now Bachelor Farooq Rahman sitting in front of you, and he, he is all chamber goes with him. <laughs> and you have, this is the instance that by, by 12 years, through 12 years he is arranging these dinners for his clients and also distinguished guests. Every year we attended, he said, we hope that he will continue this uh, practice and his practice will grow more, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> for your valuable speech. Now, we will be moving to our presentation ceremony. Our senior associate, Muhammad Mwajiyam Hussain, will say a few words about the winner of the award from our investment department. <laughs> 